What's up everybody, Mike Burke here again with Inside Real Estate Photography and in this video we're going to take a look at a real estate drone photo shoot in real time. So a few days ago I was out doing a drone shoot and I thought hey, it'd be a good idea to record this and make a video out of it. That way I can give you guys some insight on how I go through the motions of doing a drone photo shoot from takeoff to landing. Let's take a look. Take off. Alright, I'll take it off here. Updated. Please check it on the map. So I usually start with these lower shots first, and I work my way up from there. So I usually get three low shots of the front of the house, one off to the right like this, and then one in the middle, and then one off to the left. So I'm just trying to compose my shot here. That little tree's in the way on the right, so just trying to position myself here where not much of the tree is blocking the house. All right, so that's our first shot there. Now I'm gonna move into the middle position, trying to get more of a straight on shot of the front. So I'm about 27 feet here. I can go anywhere from like 25 to 50 usually for these, depending on the situation. Sometimes you have power lines in front of the house or something like that. Yeah, I'm trying to decide here whether or not I want the flag in the photo or not. So I couldn't really crop it out, so I backed up a little bit. All right, that's our second shot there, straight on. Now I'm gonna go move off to the left looking around at trees and stuff, trying not to hit anything, so. <laughs> Hence my weird movements here. Again, with these side shots, I like to try to get a little bit of the side of the house in the shot, just to show the depth of the house. I decided to get more of this landscaping in here at the bottom. So it's backing up a little bit to try to get all the landscaping in there. All right, so that's our three low shots of the front. Now I'm gonna back up and go up higher so I can get the whole property in the shot. That's me on the road right there on the right side of the frame. I'm walking towards those trees so I can hide. Always looking for a hiding spot to get out of the shot. So for these higher up shots, I try to just get the whole property line in the shot. Again, I'll do one, I'll do one off to the left like that one and center and then again off to the right, just at a higher altitude. All right, that's our center shot. See, this is why I have the grid on too, because it helps you Really compose your shots well, so I can get the house right in dead center in the grid. I just like to have it on, that's my preference. I think it makes a difference in your, you know, the composition of your shots. So. And that's off to the right. So from there, I'm gonna swing around to the back and do the same thing in the back, but for the back, I don't get three shots, I'll just get two one off to the left here on the left corner, and then one off to the right corner. So there's our shot off to the left. Now I'm gonna go around to the other corner of the back of the property and snap off another one there. Again, I'm keeping the house pretty much dead center in the frame, more or less. Getting the whole property line in. All right, so from there, I'm gonna do a direct overhead shot of the property 
Again, getting the whole property in. Trying to decide which way I want to do this. <laughs> Can I try to use the, the house and the you know, and the grid lines there to just make it f as straight as possible? So that's our overhead shot. And from there, we're gonna go up to full height and you know, close to Maximum 400 feet. Light altitude reached. So once we're at full height, I'm gonna Get the house center frame bottom where it is right now in the grid and we want to show off you know what's off in the distance so here we have the ocean in the distance we have ocean and there's rivers here there's, there's water all around this place so we want, we want to show the proximity to that so so when i do these full height shots like this i either do it where the house is center bottom frame like it is now, or I back up even more and have it center in the frame and I have more foreground. But um, since we wanna show off how close it is to the water, I wanna be basically as close to the house as possible. So the water looks as close as possible because people wanna be as close to the water as possible usually, especially in the Jersey Shore area where I'm from, so. As you can see out there too, it's like, it's springtime here in New Jersey, so the air's warm and the ocean's still cold, so it's, you know, hazy. So we got a lot of haze and fog out there, so it's tough to get a crispy, clear shot here in this time of the year, but it's close enough. Again, we have the river over here. So I'm just gonna do from the front looking. Usually usually in these situations, I'll do four corners. I know I just did three from the back because we had ocean view, so. That's really what the agent's gonna want. So I did three, give an extra one for that. You know, off to the back here, it's just more so land. There's a river there, but I'll usually just do the, um, I usually just do the four corners of the property. I still did four shots. I didn't do another angle there from the right because there's really nothing to see back there except for land. <laughs> as far as the eye can see, there's nothing to show off really, so. All right, so now that all those are done, this is when I'm, I'm now walking to the backyard and then I'm gonna get some closer up shots at the back of the house and any features in the backyard. This house doesn't have a pool, but if it did, I'd be getting pool shots and all that. It's got a really nice deck, so we'll get a couple shots of that. So I usually try to get two angles of the back close up and low like this, so I'll get one from this side and around on the other side. All right, so that's one side of the house. They had this boat trailer in the back that uh, they didn't have anywhere to hide. So that's where they put it. So I end up photoshopping that out. Get a close up shot of the deck. It's a really nice deck. So of course we'll get, you know, regular shots of this with the camera and a tripod, but you still can't get this vantage point from ground level. So it's nice to see how big it is and show that off. Trying to uh, compose my shot here. And I'm shooting five bracketed shots, as you can tell. Um, five bracketed JPEGs, that's what I usually do for drone shoots. I have been toying around lately with just shooting a single raw frame. And to be honest with you, I think my results, end results are pretty much the same. So I don't know. I'm debating on just shooting a raw from now on, but uh, it's always an experiment finding out 
what gives you the best results. And so that was another angle of the deck. And then I'm trying to get another angle of the back of the house, but you can't see, but there's a bunch of trees right behind the drone. So I'm just like carefully backing up in between two trees right now, trying to get a shot here. It's hard to get enough room in here, but I managed to get the whole house in here. So. so my shot composed here. And that's my final shot. And there I am standing there in the backyard. The end. Landing. All right guys, I hope this video did give you some insight on how I go through the motions of doing a drone photo shoot. If you did find this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.